Welcome you guys, I'm Dano with Dano RC and what we've got going on for you I'm going to do a little uh, multi-part series here on a mud truck build that I'm doing. What I've got here is my Axial SCX10, the original SCX10 and it's the G6 Rubicon. So this one is the 12 inch wheelbase, this is the shorter wheelbase. So it's not the 12.3 as like the uh, the 10.2 is like that down there my 10.2 that's a 12.3 but this bad boy here when I first got this it was brand new it was stock I mean completely stock so and it had some other dads on the body and whatnot like some other stuff that I didn't really want on it um, what I've done is I have relocated the battery from the rear to the front and I made these little pieces of a uh, took some sheet metal plating here and just bent it and drilled some holes and got the battery mounted there so that's you know one of those homemade things this by the way is a homemade build uh, yes I've ordered some parts and pieces and things like that but like my links and things like that I've made myself my power system here is the Traxxas XL5 HV and the Titan 21 turn 550 can motor this was taken out of my TRX4 so that's fairly new uh, I was in the TRX4, I'm running the Hobby Wing, which is awesome. But uh, let's see, what else I've done? I moved the electronics to the back, where the battery was. And some of you may or may not have noticed already that my servo is mounted up here on the chassis. What I did was I ordered the STRC uh, chassis mount, servo mount, and pan hard kit. Well, the chassis mount servo still is rocking it still works I've still got it there working and whatnot but the pan hard link on the original axles was um, a little too short because as you can see you may or may not have noticed those are AR60 axles this is the size of the original axle see so yeah I've got uh, AR60 is on there right now and like I was saying the pan hard link for the original off the, off the excuse me off of the STRC kit came down to the original axle and it hooked on to your C hub down here well when I put these AR60s on I had to create my own pan hard link and yes that's just straight uh, 632 inch all thread rod with uh, some short links there because with this particular pan hard mount I don't know if you guys can see it there or not but this link end just barely tucks up and does not hit this bracket right here there's just enough clearance for it to tuck up in there so if I were to put any kind of uh, tubing along this like I've done with my other links like this one here then it would hit there and I would not get full articulation on this on this sucker so that was something that I had to you know deal with and look at and figure out and fabricate myself moving on with fabrication the AR60s are offset pumpkins so with that being said, what I had to do was I had to flip the transmission plate. Now, what that does is <clears throat> that also flips around your motor direction. Simple enough. You can either reverse your wires or use your, your uh, reverse your transmitter channel. Um, <clears throat> these axial six by 98 millimeter links I so happen to have laying around when I got this truck I got this truck on on a trade so I so happen to have these I slapped those in there those worked well as you can see on the bottom I fabricated my own using um, 832nd inch rod 832 inch rod and just some quarter inch brake tubing and some of these are the uh, axial end links the, the offset 45 ones and these up here actually are the Traxxas 53, they're the Traxxas part number 5347 rod ends. I believe these are the Revo rod ends. These are the ones that you're going to want to get when you guys go making your own links. Same ones I got down here, the Traxxas rod ends. Up here, those are the uh, axial, off of an axial uh, tr parts tree. I can't think of the name of the part right now. But uh, 
It's like six bucks. You can get this axial parts tree and it comes with a whole bunch of different rod ends and offset ends and stuff like that. Uh, the AR60 axles. I got these off of Amazon. These were Amazon specials. They're all metal, all steel and aluminum parts and pieces. And so far, they're 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 very. They seem to be very good quality. They appear to be very durable. They're 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 strong. Um, I ran it a couple of times, just like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they seem to be fairly well made. I got these, you guys, for ninety six and change. I think it was uh, ninety six and change delivery and everything right to my house you guys so those were those were I think those were a steal so far so good but that is what I've got going on this other than these pitbull 2.2 rims and I've stretched my deep wood 1.9s onto the 2.2s now what I have coming in the mail hopefully deliver are supposed to be delivered on Monday you guys are I've got, uh, <clears throat> they are RC4WD mud slinger tires, 2.2 tires. They're about six inches tall. I think they're 5.96 inches is what they measure out to be. So those should sit nicely on here. And I've also got the STRC Axial SCX10 body lift kit. So what that's going to do is that's going to lift up my body. But still maintain a low center of gravity for my chassis and uh, my I'm sorry my motor my tranny and everything like that so all this stuff my, my drivetrain everything is going to stay the same but yet I'm going to have bigger tire be able to run bigger tires on this thing and I'm going to keep these rims because I like them and I'm going to put the 2.2 mud slingers on and on top of all of that I'm going from the Jeep body I'm going to take that body there get rid of it and I'm gonna mount on this bad boy for my truck status El Chapo so El Chapo you guys is going to become my mud truck so she's gonna be lifted El Chapo is gonna be sitting pretty some big old fat truck tires on there tractor tires those mud slinger tires you guys they look pretty awesome they look pretty good but uh that's what I got going. That's my latest build. I'm going <clears> to <throat> keep you guys updated as far as how this goes and what happens. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, you guys will be on the lookout for the next one. And it will be once I get, like I said, that body kit, uh, body lift kit. I've also got, that reminds me as I'm sitting here talking about this, I've also got a 60 tooth spur gear and a 15 tooth pinion gear which should make El Chapo uh, get a little give her a little bit of giddy up there should make her scoot pretty nicely and uh, with this Titan 550 can that should do the trick pretty well so like I said you guys stay tuned be on the lookout for the next video she'll be lifted she'll be sitting on a 2.2 mud slingers and uh, I'm gonna get to work on mounting the body See you guys on the next one. Thank you.